This past summer, my husband and I had the incredible privilege of visiting the monastery of St. John the Baptist in Essex, England. We witnessed and experienced several encounters with the monks, nuns, and visitors that taught us lessons for marriage. One of these reminds me of a famous saying from St. Anthony the Great. If we stretch the brothers beyond measure, they will soon burst. The community, while we were there, was preparing an open house for the townspeople. It's a yearly event where they open their doors to offer hospitality to the community. And boy, do they prepare. Power washing buildings on the outside, cleaning every nook and cranny on the inside of the numerous buildings, preparing food and beautiful place settings for a high tea, sweeping and washing all of the walkways. I could go on and on. It really seemed like they were preparing for the arrival of a king. I suppose, in fact, they were, as they treat each person coming through their doors as an icon of Christ, the King. On one of the days, several of the monks had missed lunch because of the work duties. As I was helping to wash the dishes, and yes, they do still wash all of their dishes by hand, I heard laughter and joyful conversation in the room next to the kitchen. Hearing my husband's voice in the mix, I peeked into the room. Around the table were about 10 monks who had been stretched in the morning as they were doing the work of God through preparing their home for hospitality, taking a break and being nourished with food, joyful conversation and laughter. Think about it with all the responsibilities of daily life, which for those of us who are married and living in the world is God's work. Finances, vocations, household tasks, parenting, and everything else. We all need times to decompress with our spouse, the person with whom we share the deepest sense of communion and community so that we don't burst. We're often stretched to the edge of bursting, and we must take heed and make space to loosen that stretch, as these monks did after a morning of physical labor for the glory of God. So, as husband and wife, just as with the monks, we work hard and when our hearts are nurtured through prayer and communion in Christ, we can truly rejoice in those times when we allow ourselves to relax and loosen the stretch with our most intimate community, our spouse. Until next time.